almost two years ago, the Raspberry Pi Foundation gave us the Raspberry Pi Zero, which was a lower powered, smaller version of the Raspberry Pi and astonishingly cheap at $5. The publication Magpie gave one away with every print of its 40th issue and sold out almost immediately. Due to this overwhelming popularity and demand for an updated version, the foundation has delivered. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. It has the same form factor as the Pi Zero, but adds onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. One of the best features of the Pi Zero W is its size. It's only 65 by 30 millimeters, which is about 2.6 by 1.2 inches for those of us in the United States. It uses the same BCM2835 processor found on the Raspberry Pi 1, but it's been factory overclocked to 1 gigahertz. This is a 32-bit ARM11 single-core processor. Like the other Raspberry Pis before it, it has a built-in Broadcom Video Core 4 graphics processor running at 250 megahertz. The W has 512 megabytes of RAM and a micro SDHC slot to house your operating system and other files. It also has an HDMI mini port for video and audio out, as well as a 15-pin camera interface for connecting your Pi or Pi Noir camera. There's no audio port, so you'll need to get audio out through the HDMI port or using PWM from two of the GPIO pins. Speaking of which, you'll find 28 GPIO pins on the Pi Zero W's 40-pin port, which is the same pinout format as the Pi 3. Just note that you'll need to do some soldering if you want to connect anything to this port. On the same side as the HDMI port, you'll find two micro USB ports. One is for providing 5 volts to the Pi, which reportedly uses around half a watt when idle and around 1.75 watts when under load. The other micro USB port is an on-the-go port to be used as a USB 2.0 host or client. The Pi Zero W is a great single board computer for putting together low-powered IoT or computer-based projects. For example, think home automation or tiny arcade cabinets. To help you get started, we've put together a kit. This includes a wall adapter, the Pi Zero W itself, USB on the go cable, a mini HDMI cable, and a micro SD card of 16 gigabytes preloaded with noobs. Granted, the Pi Zero W is a lot less powerful than its full featured cousin, but it's also a lot less expensive. If you're interested to see how to connect a sensor and write some Python for the Raspberry Pi, check out my three-part Getting Started series. Now, they're a few years old at this point, so some of the commands might have changed, but it should still give you an idea of how easy it is to use this tiny computer.